Amen. 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 Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday of Holy Week. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise and give him glory and give him honor. I know it's early in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody used to say rise and shine and give God the glory. Hallelujah. 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 If he's been good to you all week long since Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, now Thursday, somebody give him praise and somebody give him glory and somebody give him honor. Hallelujah. I know it's early. I know it's early. I know it's early on uh, on a Thursday morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. We are going to uh, go right in and talk about uh, Thursday of Holy Week. And we're going to talk about Thursday of Holy Week as we try to walk the uh, road that Jesus uh, traveled as he uh, made his way to Calvary, as he made his way to Calvary. And so we want to, I want to turn your attention so that you can get your Bibles. Uh, and I'll let you know that if Matthew's account of Thursday's events are Matthew 26, uh, 17 through 75. Matthew 26, 17 through 75. Matthew 26, 17 through uh, 75. And if you would allow me, we got uh, that you could read all of that at your leisure. But if you would allow me to begin reading uh, uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, Matthew 26, verse 36. Matthew 26, verse 36, and I'll go down to 46. Matthew 26, uh, verse 36 to 46. And the Bible says this. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. And he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying, oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. And nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, what, could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray lest you enter the temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, a second time he went away and prayed saying, oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me unless I drink it, your will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be gone. See, my betrayer is at hand. And so the, the game changer is 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 moving now and so on holy week it take uh, a somber turn reverend follow on this thursday some say a somber turn uh, from bethany jesus sent peter and john ahead to the upper room in jerusalem to make preparations for the passover feast so if you start back at matthew 26 17 you can understand this that evening after sunset, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples as they appeared to share in the Passover. By performing this humble act of service, Jesus demonstrated, by example, how believers should love one another. Many of the churches practice foot washing ceremonies on Monday, Thursday services. So you probably have been to foot washing ceremonies. Uh, but then Jesus shared the feast of the Passover with his disciples. So Jesus now is the it, it, now he's at the Passover, uh, the feast of the Passover, and he shared that with his disciples. And and um, a, as the Lamb of God, Jesus was about to fulfill the meaning of the Passover by giving his body what to be broken, 
and his blood to be shed in sacrifice, freeing all of us from sin and death. Isn't that something? He's about to take the sin of the whole world on him. He's he, he became the sacrifice. He 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 became the lamb. He is the lamb of God who was the sacrifice by giving his body to be broken and his blood to be shed in sacrifice. During this last supper, that's what many of us call it. Jesus established the Lord's Supper or communion, instructing his father, his followers to continually remember his sacrifice by what? Sharing in the elements of the bread and wine. And then Jesus and the disciples left the upper room, Reverend Father, and went to the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed in agony to God the Father. He prayed. And so that's where we want to pick up this morning, the prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. But uh, somewhere along that journey, prior to the prayer, Matthew records it, uh, Jesus pr predicts Peter's denial. Peter said, I'm with you all the way now. How many Peters do we have? I'm with you. I got you. I I'll never leave you. I I I I and Jesus said, no, 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 no. He said, this gonna, Jesus said, uh, surely I say to you this night before the rooster crows, how many times? But you will deny me three times. That's what he told. Some of us got some Peter in us. I know I do. Oh, uh, I know I do. So you don't have to say if you do or not. I know I do. Some some of us have some Peter in us. Peter, uh, uh, Peter. He, he said he stood up and said, "No, no, no. I won't leave you. The rest, the rest might, the rest might leave. I'll stay with you, God." That's what. And then he said, "No." Before the the rooster or the uh, crows three times. Um, before the rooster crows, you will be denied me three times. So here he is in this garden. Here he is in this garden. And what I like about that, Jesus came with them to the place called Gethsemane, verse 36, Matthew 26, and said to the disciples, sit here while I go and pray over there. Now, so he Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he uh, said to them, sit here, the disciple, while I go and pray over there. Uh, Reverend Fowler, I don't know, but uh, when they got there, um, the garden at the foot of the Mount of Olives, he told the disciples to sit here while I go and pray over there. And then the Bible says he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, James and John, and he began to what? He began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. So he took the whole disciples. The disciples were with him. He took the disciples and he took them so far and he told them what? To go sit here while I go and pray over there. Then he grabbed his, then he grabbed I call him his inner circle, Peter, James, and John. He said, now come on with me a little bit further. Uh, and so you got him taking his inner, inner circle in with him. That's what I call it. His, a little bit further in the mount, uh, to, for prayer with him. You're going to always have that. Um, that, 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 that listen, the, the, the disciples were here. Then he took Peter, James, and John. Hallelujah. He put them with him, and then they went in for prayer. And uh, uh, and then what happened after that? Then he came, uh, he went in a little further, and he said, he prayed, saying, oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my, I will, not as I will, but as you will. So let your will be done. But I'm struggling. I'm about to take on the sins of the whole world. I like in Luke, Luke says that he prayed so hard that, his sweat became like great drops of blood. And then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. He found them sleeping. How many of us are awake today? How many of us are awake this morning? He found them sleeping. They had one, they had one uh, instruction. Sit here. 
while I go and pray over there. That's how, that was their instruction. And then that then Peter, James, and John, he said, now you sit here. And while I go a little bit further and pray, and what happened, they fell asleep on their watch. This is Samba Thursday. I like Jesus, the game changer. Because Jesus said what? He then came to the disciples, found them sleeping, and said to Peter, what, could you not watch with me one hour, Peter? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch. You can, you can use your own power to, to watch, but you got to rely on something else when you're praying. So watch and pray. You remember a lot of the civil rights leaders as they, I call, as they, as they nail down in hostile territory, and, and that you saw their eyes open while they were. I believe they were watching and praying. They were watching and praying. Watch and pray, and, and the spirit is indeed willing. He told Peter, but the flesh is weak. That's us. The spirit is willing. The flesh is weak. That's what we talked about last night in Bible study. Well, you got to untie some things and allow the Holy Spirit to help you untie them and put on the fruit, the fruit of the Spirit of love and joy and peace, temperance and meekness and all of those, gentleness, all of those, you got to put them on. But the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So he went the second time. Come on, disciples. Come on, Peter. He went away and prayed and said, oh, my, oh, Father, if this cup cannot pass any way from me unless I drink it, your will be done. He came and found them asleep for the eyes were heavy. Church lasted a little bit longer now. So the eyes were heavy. The eyes were heavy. And so he left them again and went away and prayed the third time, saying the same words. He came to his disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand. It's time. Behold, the hour is at hand. Behold, the hour is at hand. What Jesus shows is that Jesus, to me, never gave up on them, even though they fell asleep on him. The disciples fell asleep on Jesus and they did not, Jesus did not give up on them. I thank God, even while he was praying, even while Luke said, his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Even when he came back, he had to be disappointed when he came back and saw that they were asleep at a time like this. He still did not give up on them. He did not get up on them. Why? Because at the end now, he said it. He said, rise. Let's be gone. My betrayer is at hand. Rise now. Let's be gone. He could have admonished him even further. But he said, rise now. Come on. My task is at hand. I am the game changer. I'm the one that entered into this thing, and you guys, went, and they waved palms. But now, thy will be done. Let's go. My betrayer is at hand. The deal had already been cut. But guess what? I got to face it, but I, I know that I'm already going to be victorious. Come on, rise now. I gave you three shots to pray. Rise. I portray as a hand and let's move forward. On this Thursday, Monday, Thursday. And as you know, Peter denied him how many times? Three times. Three times. 
on tonight. Even under, even when, even when we are not aligned directly with Him, rise. Let's go. He's still with us. I came by to just encourage you on Monday, Thursday. It said it took a somber turn. Yes, but He will never leave us or forsake us. Even when we fall asleep on the task, even when we slip a little bit to the left or right, there's a chance with him that we have with nobody else. Stay in line. He'll bring us right back in line. He will bring us in line. And I want to say to you, rise now. Hemingway, whatever you're going through today, Whatever is happening in your life, it looks today like it may have taken a somber turn. But I need you to stay there. Watch and pray. Because the turn, the events, as it goes out and it moves past Monday, Thursday, it looked bad for Jesus. And it come to Friday, and then it's going to come to Saturday. But if but but it took a somber turn, and events start happening. It had to go before the Sanhedrin court, and all of these things are happening to the game changer. But I tell you what, rise, hang in there with the game changer. You stay there because some things are about to shift in your life. Don't worry about the event that you see with your natural eye, understand a shifting is taking place. Rise. Let's go and see what God has for all of us. I tell you what, I'm rolling with the game change because the game change, whoo, when he changes the game, Sister First, he does it. And he does it permanently. I'm with the game changer. Somber events. Jesus washed feet, had the had communion, prayed in the garden, was denied. Uh, Judas sold him out, took him before the Sanhedrin court. Don't look good. It don't look good. But watch what happened. Stay in the story. Stay it. Stay with us. Rise now. Rise. And this word is to somebody woo, out there that has, you know some people that are going through court cases. The worldly court has convicted them. But God is going to free them out of this situation. I don't know who that was for. That wasn't in my notes. That wasn't in my notes. That wasn't in my notes. Somebody is working with some people that are dealing with court cases. And the worldly court is boxed them in. But a shift is about to take place. Hemingway, ride. It's not about what, what you see right now. You just hold on just a little while longer and you'll see the great works of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you this morning. God bless you this morning. Come on and let's have a word of prayer. And thank you for getting up for our uh, Holy Week devotions. We'll be right back here on tomorrow, 7 a.m., Good Friday. It's Good Friday. And it's Good Friday, Reverend Fowler, for a reason. Good Friday. Sister Ella, Good Friday. Psalm for Thursday, Good Friday. So we're moving with the game changer. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for each and every person under the sound of my voice. We thank you for those that did not find it robbery to get up, to study your word, to even read further and to learn more about you as you move through Holy Week, God. And so God, we ask you, God, to touch each and every person here. And God, we ask you that our people begin to watch and pray. God, God, we thank you for what you have done in our lives. 
And so, God, we ask you to meet everybody at their point of need. God, there's some prayers on the altar now for people who uh, health are not good. We pray, God, and we believe you are healed. We ask you, God, to strengthen those that feel a little bit weak in this season, God, and let them know, hold on, a shift is going to come. We pray, God, for family members and family uh, that uh, just uh, won't act right. Let's just say what they won't act right. We ask you, God, in this holy week, in this season, touch them with your love. Touch them with your joy. Give them something extra and bring them back in line. We pray, God, for those that have uh, that have that have we have that drifted away from you, that you will bring them back to you. To thank you for this week, God, and, and, and God, we ask you, God, to uh, do the miraculous this week, God. God, we ask you, God, in every person's life that's on this phone, they need a shift in some area. God, you know the area or areas that they need a shifting in, and so God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to make a way and shift right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody is uh, uh, unemployed and they need a shift right now. Uh, they need a shift and we ask you to do it. Somebody has got a job, but they're underemployed. Uh, they just don't have enough uh, to meet their means. Do a shift right now. Somebody going through some things with uh, spouses uh, and, and friends and they, they just need a shift, God. Watch, pray, God. Let them, let them, let them know to watch and pray. And then, God, that don't give up. To hang in there. And so now, God, we just believe. We have, we already know how the story. But well, we thank you, God, for how we may have fallen short on you, but you never gave up on us. Cover us all by the blood of Jesus. Take us on our way today. Let us all be safe. Let us all move and, and, and lead and God be get led and guided by your Holy Spirit. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for what you are doing in our lives. It is in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and give thanks that everybody say. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody on this morning. Y'all can unmute if you can. I guess if, if she stops recording, then I think in a minute.